So hi everyone, my name is Louisa. I'm the yoga teacher here at Recenta. I teach Japanese yoga. Today we put this class together um, as a nice class to set you up for the day. So lovely to be done at any time during the day, but especially in the morning. Um, so let's begin by taking a comfortable seated position of your choice. And when you're ready, closing the eyes, resting the hands on the legs. Just taking these first few breaths to really arrive here in the present moment. The sitting up with the spine tall but without rigidity. And then taking a few deep breaths in and out through the nose. And uh, allowing a gentle smile on your face as you welcome the day. And then opening the eyes. Let's then interlace the fingers in front of the lower abdomen. Let's take an inhale to lift the arms in front of the heart. Exhale to push away. And then inhale the arms up to the sky, reaching up. Exhale, the arms come behind you, interlace the fingers. Inhale, open the chest, stretch the arms behind you. So let's do that again, interlacing fingers in front. Inhale, exhale, push away, round the back, you bring the chin to chest. Inhale, the arms up to the sky, creating space through the rib cage. And then exhale, the arms behind, extend the arms and open the chest. Look up slightly. Let's do one more of these. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up. Exhale behind and then inhale to open up and release the hands. So let's bring some movement to the shoulders, a big circle with the shoulders up to the ears, to the back and down. So big circles here. And then let's reverse, so circling to the front now. And then let's squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, drop the shoulders down. One more time. Inhale. And exhale to drop. Lovely. If you need to change your sitting position, your crossing of your legs, do. Uh, we'll do a little bit of doing or meridian tapping. That's lovely to wake up as well. These channels waking up the fascia and the whole body really. So we're extending the right arm up, your right arm, out to the side. And we start by knocking onto the top of the chest on that same side. So really activating here the lung meridians, connecting with the lungs. And then we start tapping down through the inside of the arm, all the way to the fingertips, especially the middle finger. And flip the palm down as we tap along the outside of the arm this time, coming up to the shoulder and neck. So let's do that one more time, coming to the front, top of the chest, really tapping there. And then tapping along the inside of the arm, all the way to the middle finger. And tapping up through the outside of the arm, shoulder and neck. And let's move on to the other side straight away. So Extending the arm, start tapping the top of the lung. And then we tap down the inside of the arm. 
and up the outside of the arm, shoulder and neck. One more time, front of the chest, going down the inside of the arm and up through the outside of the arm. Reach the shoulder and the neck. Lovely. Now, still with loose fists, we're coming to the lungs. So really puffing the chest forward and we're tapping to the top of the chest, accessing the lungs. Let's take a breath in. Long breath out through the mouth. And again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Last one, inhale. Releasing it all out. Lovely. And then just relaxing the hands down, closing the eyes for a moment here, noticing and just being with the sensations. So the lungs are responsible for our immune system or relate to our immune system. They're activating these channels to activate these, um, the immune system in the body. Now let's bring the hands back into the kidney area and really rub it in. I'm just turning around. So rubbing to the kidney, so you might lean forward a little bit. Bringing warmth to the kidneys, so that's your powerhouse, your vitality powerhouse in the body. So waking this area up. And then coming back up, let's take an inhale, arms up. And exhale the arms wide all the way down. Beautiful. So we're now bringing a little bit more energy through the arms and connecting to lungs and the heart channels. So let's come onto your all fours, hands and knees. Check if the hands are more or less underneath the shoulders and the knees under the hips. We're coming into some push-ups. So as you exhale, lower the chest down and the head will come forward to the hands a little and coming up. So inhale as you come down, exhale as you push up. So you can come as low as you want to. And we're only doing six, five, keeping the elbows in, four, three, two, and one. Coming up, this time we're turning the fingers inwards. So the fingers are almost touching here. Check if the hands are more or less in line with the shoulders, a little bit forwards. And this time we're kissing the hands. So inhale as you lower it all the way down, the head towards the hands. And then exhale to press up. Inhale down, exhale up. Let's do six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Let's tuck the toes under and sit back towards the heels. And now from here, we start turning the fingers all the way towards the knees or halfway there. See wherever your hands want to stop today. And let's do a little bit of stretch for the inner arms, inner wrists. So we move forwards and backwards. Opening our device muscles here. And then we stay on the stretch just a little bit longer. And then, still with the toes tucked under, as we stretch the bottom of the feet, we come up. So that can be quite intense for a lot of people and be here for too long. 
But if it's too much for you, you can come up on your knees or untuck the toes, anything you like. Alrighty. So just opening the wrists a little bit, circling one direction. And then circling the other way around. Beautiful. And then resting the hands down on the lap. Just find a focal point on the floor. The back is straight. The back of the neck is long. And let's take two deep, long breaths in and out through the nose here. Beautiful. Let's come forward into your hands and tap the toes. Okay, so let's make our way to lie on the back. And when you're there, let's bring the feet together and the knees together. The fingers interlacing behind the head. And then we squeeze the knees together, feet together, all the way to the left. Keeping the upper body grounded, heavy on the mat. Inhale the knees up and then exhale, squeezing the knees to the right. Keeping that left elbow on the floor. Inhale up, so let's do side to side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one beautiful lovely so here we extend the arms on the floor above the head the chins tucking in slightly the feet are still together and the knees together we're coming into a bridge so exhale pressing the floor down with the feet and lift the hips up opening the back of the neck here squeezing your back try to keep the knees together Inhale to roll back down. And again, the arms are stretching above the head. Press down to lift the hips up again, keeping the knees close together as possible. Inhale, rolling back down. And again, exhale to lift the hips up. Beautiful, beautiful, keeping the knees together. And then rolling back down. Lovely. So from here, we bring the legs into a tabletop position with the toes pointing up to the sky. So check if the heels are in line with the knees. So that's already working your core, again, as you can see. Imagine you're pressing the tailbone under a little bit or just pressing that lumbar down on the floor a little bit, not too strong, but just flattening that natural curve slightly. So that's easier to really contract the abdominal muscles here. So with the hands, we're bringing them flat towards the knees, one hand over each knee, and the head will stay resting down on the floor. Okay, let's, let's take a breath in. As you exhale, we're pressing onto the knees, but resisting the knees in. And take the whole exhale as you press and resist. And when you need to inhale again, release the hands, take another breath in. Exhale, press and resist again. Head relaxing on the floor. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, pressing into the knees and resisting. And then we squeeze the knees into the chest. Gentle rock from side to side. Relax the shoulders down. Lovely. Let's interlace the fingers behind the back. 
And we keep the knees into the chest here, the toes pointing up to the sky. Let's take a breath in and with the out breath, we squeeze the knees towards the left armpit. And then inhale as you come back to center and then exhale, squeezing towards the right armpit. So squeezing the knees together to the right and when you're there, lift them a little bit higher towards the armpit. Inhale, middle, and then exhale to the other side. And we do six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. So here, knees are still into the chest. We're gonna keep the left knee in and we'll extend the right leg up to the sky. Really pressing through the heel here. But again, we're working already, just holding to this position. So check if you need a little bit more support for the lumbar. You're gonna pop that left toes down on the floor. That will give you a little bit more support, right? So always listening to the body. That's our goal here, to be embodied, to listen and to go with it. Okay, so let's inhale, lower that extended leg down, just almost touching the ground. And then exhale to bring it up. Inhale, lower it down, keep hugging the left knee in. Exhale, lift it up. Let's do 10 more. And we go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. The last one, we're gonna hover off the floor and optional to the little pumps, pumping up and down a few inches. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hugging both knees into the chest. Relax the belly, relax the hips. Okay, so let's move on to the other side. Hands back behind the head. We're hugging the right knee in and we extend the left leg up. So again, if you need extra support for the lumbar, pop the right toes down on the floor. Okay, inhale, we lower that leg down and exhale to bring it back up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift it up. Let's do 10 more together, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And lowering down, little pumps for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hugging both knees to the chest. The gentle rock from side to side. And then from here, let's place the feet down and open the knees wide. Soles of the feet together, arms open wide. Just for a moment, eyes open or closed. Relaxing here, taking deep breaths. Beautiful. So let's bring the knees towards the chest again and slide the hands down towards the ankles. We place the ankles really wide, as wide as the mat and quite close to the hips here. So if you can't reach the ankles today, that's fine. Placing the hands with the palms down on the floor, that would be okay. Otherwise, let's take a breath in and with the out breath, we fold the left knee in and down, keeping the right knee still pointing up to the sky. You're feeling that stretch on the top of the thigh. Inhale to lift and then exhale to fold the other knee down. 
Inhale to lift. Let's go side to side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And the last one we're going to hold. Stay there just a little longer. Taking deep breaths through the belly, through your center of power here. And then we inhale to lift the knee up, exhale to fold the other knee in and down. Noticing how that feels in the body. And then inhale to lift that knee back up. So we'll, we'll keep um, the feet wide, but try to bring them more parallel to each other, but still with the focus of having the whole sole of the feet grounded on the mat. Okay, so here you might be grabbing the ankles or the heels or palms flat on the mat. Let's take a breath here. With the exhale, we're lifting the hips up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale to lift the hips up. Inhale to lower, one more. Exhale, we lift the hips up. Inhale to lower. We're gonna do this a little bit more dynamic now. So going up and down eight times. So exhale as you lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one and lowering it back down. Let's bring, extend the legs out and have a rest just for a moment. Lovely. So let's bring the knees towards the chest again. Roll up and down along the spine just a few times before we come up. And then we're coming all the way up, crossing the ankles, coming onto our hands and knees again. Okay. Little bit of balance here. So check if the hands are under the knee, under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. As you exhale, we'll extend the left arm and the right leg. So really bringing it all in one big line, one long line. So reaching away with the arm and the leg. Inhale, lower both down. Exhale, the other side. So the back of the neck is long, you're still looking down on the mat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, the other side. So let's do side to side, we do eight more. And one, lovely. So let's extend the right arm and the left leg now. Reach away. And then take another breath here. As you exhale, now we're bringing the elbow to knee, knee to elbow, squeezing it all in the middle. Inhale to extend away. And exhale to lower down. Other side, inhale up. Exhale, squeezing in the middle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. And other side, inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, down. Other side, 
stretching, lengthening away, squeezing it all in, reach away, and down one more on each side. Bringing it down. Let's take one child pose here. So the knees wide, hips towards the heels, forehead resting on the mat, arms extending out. Breathing through the rib cage. Hips heavy towards the heels. Let's take one more deep breath in and long breath out. Okay. Let's come up onto your hands and knees again. Back to your position. And we take one cat pose. So we're exhaling and really tucking the tailbone in, rounding the back, tucking the chin in, pressing down on the mat, pushing it away. Inhale to come back to neutral. Let's do that one more time. I really want you to feel that tucking of the tailbone and that rounding of the back because we'll use it on the next exercise. So exhale as you round the back, you're pressing down, tucking the tailbone under, tucking the chin in, really rounding, creating that big round of the back. And then inhale to come back to a neutral. Let's come down into the belly and into a sphinx pose. So we're in our, on our forearms here. Elbows under the shoulders, palms flat on the mat, and the fingers are spread over. So the toes are untucked here. And instead of collapsing onto the shoulders like this, we're really pressing it down and broadening the chest, looking straight ahead. And we take a couple more deep breaths here. And beautiful. Let's suck the toes under. And we're coming into a forearm plank. So tucking the toes under, exhale to lift the body up, hovering the hips. And now let's do the cat stretch that we did. So we're really rounding the upper back, we're tucking the tailbone under here. And we count four, three, two, and one. Lower the knees down. Slide back down and we're pressing down into the downward facing dog. So the arms are straight, the legs might bend, they need to, the knees. And let's bend one knee at a time for now. Just bringing in a bit more awareness to the back of the legs. And back to stillness. Look forward as we hover or slide forwards back into your plank and all the way down into the belly. So here let's bring the arms alongside the body and the palms are facing up. Untuck the toes, resting the forehead down onto the mat. We're pre preparing for a locust. So for this one, the whole body engages. So we're bringing that strength and that stability to the back body here now. So engaging the legs, the kneecaps will be off the floor, forehead resting down. Now we reach back with the fingertips so the shoulders are away from the ears. And then we squeeze the shoulder blades together to broaden the chest and engage these muscles at the back and looking straight ahead. 
shoulders not you're not collapsing into the shoulders you're holding yourself up here and we count four three two and one let's tuck the toes under come onto your forearm plank really round the back here tucking the tailbone under like we did in cat deep breaths don't forget to breathe we're not holding the breath just a pose and we count four three two and one bring the knees down slide back down the hands tuck the toes under to press down and into downward dog can bend the knees as much as you need to extend the legs uh, and extend the arms here and the back is long the back of the neck relaxing down and now let's take another breath in look forwards and we slide forwards into a plank and slowly lower down all the way down untuck the toes forehead down Arms alongside the body, palms facing up to the sky. So let's prepare for a locust again. So shoulders away from the ears, shoulder blades squeezing together, the arms are active, fingertips reaching away. The knee caps off the floor. Let's exhale and lift the arms, the legs, the chest, the head. <laughs> Keep breathing here as we count four, three, two, and one. Lower down slowly and turn the head to the other side this time. Relax the shoulders, really broaden the shoulders here. Letting the heels flop out to the sides. Okay, so from here, we'll keep the head um, on this side and just flip over into the back. Okay, now we bring the knees towards the chest. Let's place one hand over each knee. And then let's press into the hands with the knees so the arms extend and lift off the floor really getting a nice stretch for the back and in between the shoulders and then inhale to lower back down we we'll do a little stretch here let's cross the left ankle over the right leg and reach through the gap, through the hole and through the outside and you might want to reach in between the calf and the thigh and as you exhale you bring the legs towards the chest remember always listening to the body every day will feel different so Let's not be attached to how we used to be, how this used to feel, but to how it feels now, accepted. And let's move with it. Taking one more deep breath in and a long breath out. and release so let's cross the other leg now left ankle over the uh, right ankle over the left thigh reach for the hole and as you exhale bringing the legs towards the chest and 
and also trying to keep that left knee onto the left side of the chest just in case it's deciding to travel to the middle and taking deep breaths here through the belly and then release we're coming into a nice stretch so let's cross the right knee over the left then we jump with the hips to the right a couple of inches and then letting the legs drop to the left we're coming to a twist maybe the left hand will come over the right knee and the right arm extending out, palm facing up, the head might turn to the right. Just enjoying that massage for your internal organs. Taking one more breath, deep breath in, long breath out. And let's bring the legs up and switch sides. So just pop the hips back to the middle, left over the right, and then popping the hips to the left slightly and sending the legs all the way to the right. Turning the head to the left, extending the left arm out. And relax here. And then we inhale the knees back up and cross the legs and extend the legs just for a couple of breaths. Arms out. Closing the eyes. So here you can spread the legs quite wide and the arms really wide. assimilating everything that we've done Taking one deep breath in through the nose and a long breath out through the mouth. So that one more time, inhale. Then exhale, letting it all out. Everything that doesn't serve you anymore, letting it out. Beautiful. We're coming. Okay, so now let's just begin to move mindfully, bending the knees and turning to one side. Really using the hands to mindfully make yourself up. So we're standing up to finish. Take your time. Okay, the feet will be hip width apart and the arms resting beside the body with the fingertips pointing down towards the earth. So go ahead and close your eyes for a moment here just to notice, to observe the body, the body standing. 
and really feel that energy that's shooting down through the legs which is the earth grounding you up and then opening the eyes again let's do a little heart movement so connecting to the heart meridian through the pinky finger and going through the outside of the arm here so we're bringing the palms together pressing in front of the chest and for this one the elbows will be high so they are in line with the shoulders as you exhale we press the hands to the left inhale back to middle exhale pressing the hands to the right you really see if you're feeling that kind of nerve stretch through the pinky inhale back to center elbows quite high exhale to the side and again middle and pressing the hands away let's do four more only sliding side to side and four and then we're coming back to the middle we're keeping this position here we're taking a wide step now so the toes will be pointing out and the knees will be following the direction of the toes here so the legs will be quite wide so to really take a moment to really feel grounded here we feel that stability coming from the lower body the legs holding you up and the core muscle even that stabilization for the whole body so really holding you up here so the upper body can be light and the shoulders down away from the ears hopefully so bringing the hands in front of the heart again so let's try to keep that same position of the elbows so it's a little bit higher than you would usually do so keeping that high, let's shift the weight to the right and then we press the hands to the right as well and then turn the head to the opposite direction. Inhale to slide back to middle, exhale shift the weight to the left, press the hands to the left and look over to the right. That's our swimming dragon flow, little flow before we finish. So let's go side to side, really pressing the hands, shifting the weight to the right, looking over to the left. Middle and then press away. And to the center. Let's do a few of those. So really try to connect with this movement. Noticing where it feels in the body, how it feels, without judging much, just noticing. And of course, attention to the breath, connecting the breath and the movement together. Press the palms away, look to the opposite direction. The swimming dragon is known to bring you longevity. Let's do just four more. And coming back to center. Let's take a breath in and open the wings, spread the wings, open the chest, look up slightly. And then exhale, sinking into the chest just slightly. Inhale up. And exhale to sink in. One more. All right, so now taking this dragon for a spin. We love this exercise. <laughs> and so just bringing the hands together again in front of the heart. So the elbows can be more relaxed now. Again, let's now sink in really low into these legs and the hips here. So really working them as well. But really creating this 
connection with the earth so this grounding sensation here so the lower body grounded and heavy upper body flowy and soft and malleable so let's take a breath in sitting king really low and as you exhale we start to spin so the whole body is involved so really spiraling up imagine the dragon from deep waters spiraling up and it keeps flying up to the sky and up and when it reaches up to the heavens stretch the legs stretch the arms and exhale slide the hands back down to the heart let's spread the wings once more inhale open the chest exhale and again so let's take the dragon for a spin just one more time because it's fun let's sink in really low the knees will be wide and in, the, in line with the toes sinking low as you exhale spiral up whole body moves and up and coming up all the way extending the legs extending the arms exhale to lower the hands back down to the heart now we bring the legs comfortably apart Another moment here, closing the eyes, fingertips towards the earth, noticing your standing and noticing the body, the sensations. Let's take a big breath in and sweep the arms up. As you exhale, bring the hands down through the midline. And again, inhale as you gather. And exhale. As you're showering yourself down with this revitalized energy. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. And then placing the hands one on top of the other on your lower abdomen. Let's bring the feet together with the eyes closed. Coming back to your center. And then let's allow the body to rock and sway naturally, just as it wants to move, letting it move. Just letting the body move as it's sending the energy, the life force energy to where it needs to go. Noticing the sense of calm and vitality. And coming back to still. Let's bring the hands together in front of the heart. Allowing a gentle smile on your face. And with a sense of gratefulness for one or many things today, let's bring the fingertips to the third eye. And to seal the practice, acknowledging each other, acknowledging yourself, we bow forwards.
And I would like to thank you so much uh, for practicing with me, with us today. And I hope you can take the sense of vitality, of energy and calm with you for the rest of your day. And see you next time.